students, it's me, your three month, going on three month, reigning and defending educator of the month. We have come to the end for U.S. history, your last stop in Mr. Hubbard's U.S. history class. And I got to admit, over my first five years teaching, this was probably my favorite year. Now, when I say that right now, I'm probably somewhat jaded because I miss teaching. You know, I became a history teacher because I liked history. I still like history. But I think over the last three months, I realized, while I still like history, more importantly, I like teaching. And I like interacting and teaching students. So when I say I miss teaching history, I miss history. But more importantly, I miss you. Because collectively, you guys were great kids this year. And you were very fun and exciting to teach. I think when we lose something or something is forced away from us, that's when we realize that we miss it and we, we realize how much that we value it. You know, my grandma passed away four years ago. Uh, she'd been suffering from dementia and Alzheimer's for about two years. So I can't say I was really sad when she passed away, but if I have one regret, it's that I never had the opportunity to really tell my grandma how much I valued her and how much I adored and admired her. And I think a lot of you probably come to the realization over the last few months that you value and you miss your friends and you value and you miss our school and you value and miss our co your coaches. So if I can make a challenge for you going forward, tell them that you value them and that you miss them and show them that you value and you miss them. I know this has been a difficult year for a lot of you, maybe some more than others, but I'll leave you with this last piece of advice. In, in high school, everything seems so big and so important. You bomb a test, it seems like the end of the world. Your boyfriend or your girlfriend dumps you and it seems like you just can't go on. Uh, but the good news about high school is life does go on. And I promise that things might seem really bad sometimes. And things might seem catastrophic or to the point where you cannot overcome them. But you're going to have bad days in high school, but I promise you're going to have good days too. And if I had to endure five bad days for one really good day, I would say that that's a fair trade-off. I've enjoyed teaching you. I've enjoyed having you in my class. I miss you. And I want you guys to have a good summer and find something interesting, fun, enjoyable to do during the summer. And when we come back and when things eventually come back to normal, tell what you miss, show the people and things that you miss that you value them and that you miss them. And with that said, you guys have a good summer and hopefully I'll see you at the beginning of next year.